Good morning. Today on Crafty Thursday, I thought what I would do is do some painting. Right now it does have to do with diamond painting, but I'll show you why in a minute. I'm making things for a craft fair, and I've bought wooden um, wooden pieces. Let me show you. Three. Just just plain old wooden blanks and my daughter drilled a hole in them to put like a keychain or a, a string through. Mermaids, I have um, elephants and rainbows and a piggy bank and some hearts, a heart frame. What I'm going to do, <clears throat> I have lots more. I have angels and all kinds of things in here to do. What I'd like to do is um, I painted some of them already, and I want to sand them while we're chatting. So grab your favorite beverage. I choose tea. And come and play with me. <laughs> come and craft with me. So um, I've got lots of little things to do, and I'm going to use my leftover diamonds from diamond painting to do it. And that's my quest today. Um, I'm, I try to keep things on the cheap side, so... Uh, I am reusing some brushes that I had before. I cut some flaps off of cardboard, um, corrugated cardboard boxes, you know, that you get your deliveries in. So um, I'm going to widen you out a bit here. And um, I'm going to start. I want to start by sanding these little elephants, the things that I have done. Uh, I really do want to paint the, the other side of this, the rainbow colors so that I can um, then glue the diamonds over the appropriate color. Um, and uh, I don't know, maybe I should start there. Yes, I think I should start there because I have to have it dry in between each color. So let me move those over here. I have five of them, I think. I have five, one, two, three. Five. Do I have his number six? No, I don't have a number six. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll start with the red. I think you're seeing this a little upside down, but okay. And I do cover my work area with like a silicone pad, a um, couple silicone pads, and that way I won't mess up on the tablecloth. Although, you know, what I'm going to do... Is I've been getting magnets for uh, magnet buttons at the dollar store for the backs of my um, my new cover minders or needle minders, I guess you could call them. These are the steampunk hearts. I have others, clockwork hearts. I have shells for uh, <clears throat> like beachy things. I have flower buttons. Um, I have tons of stuff, um, crocheted flowers that I made as well. So anyway, I have these containers from the, the, um, magnet buttons, and they have this little well in them, and I used it to mix the gray paint for my Ellie's. Here it is. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do it again. If I need to mix paint, I'll do it in, in there. Um, I need to do, I need to pour some in a container. So I'll try that first. It's real simple and easy when they dry. Um, I'll show you the next step with the different with the elephants, and then I'll show you an even further step with the piggy bank and the flowers and that kind of thing. So we'll take you step by step. I'm going to put these, take these for sale at a yard sale um, or a flea market, more like. I have lots of stuff I'm going to put on Etsy and the flea market. So, my friends who want to see what I'm up to, no good, right? Um, you know, I should start with the yellow. Red, orange, yellow. And go darker color, darker color, darker color. Okay, so I'm going to start with the yellow first. in here and it's a third color up and I only need a small brush smaller than that whoops come on you 
can see I'm a klutz. I fling things everywhere. My mother says you can tell where I've been in the house because there's a trail of diamonds, <laughs> of, uh, you know, the resin diamonds following me around. All right, so red, orange, yellow. So this one would be the yellow one. And I'm going to go... I, I put a blue sky on the one side. I might have to do two coats, too, to get it as thick and even as I would like them. So that's what I'm doing. Should I scooch it in while I'm doing this? This is all I'm doing. Yeah. And I don't want to make you sick, but I think I want to flip you up around a little bit more. There. Okay. I try to make it thick enough because after this, you have to sand it because paint brings up the, um, the fibers in the wood and it gets kind of like microscopically hairy. But at the same time, well, as it does that, it will make it hard for me to glue down the diamonds and have them stay down. So I have to eliminate the little hairy parts. And that you do by sanding it. Give it a very light, lightweight sand. If you don't have sandpaper, you can use an emery board right out of your nail kit. Most of us have some paper emery boards that will do the job. I do that when I distress things. Okay. Yep. So I start with the lightest color because if I mess that up, a darker color will cover it up. If I start with the darker cover than I color, then I'm. If I make a goof, which I probably will, that's normally me. Um, trying to get in that crease there. This did not, this came with the two stripes, uh, wood burnt into them. I think I got them either at Michael's or the dollar store. That's where I get most of my things or the secondhand store. So anyway, um, <clears throat> so I took a pencil and I kind of roughed out the rest of the colors in here so I have a stripe for each color and I'm gonna paint over that stripe okay Can you get bored seeing me paint stripes of yellow onto these wood things that way if they need a second coat I can do that too so what are your favorite things to do with your spare diamonds what are crafty ways you're using yours? I've seen some ornaments. Um, I've seen them. You, people use counter cross stitch patterns and filling in their DMC number drills to the DMC number floss that it is, and that's a um, a chart like that. You can use. Th I'm working on doing something like that, but I'm. I'm worried about the double stick canvas. How do I um, put a picture behind the double stick canvas? I'm, I'm working on that. I, I'm, I might print something out, but it's got to have a very faint graph line so I know where to put the, the, uh, the drills within the pattern. So, I don't know. I'm working on it. Right? We're working on it. Widen you out a bit. There you go. Yeah, I have five of these to do. So, we just got back from Memorial Weekend. Um, we got back yesterday. My son's coming home today. The only day where we were um, that was sunny was Monday, and we were coming home Monday. Traffic wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be because I think everybody stayed the whole weekend, I, you know, stayed late on Monday so they could get some sun. 
where they were. And I didn't do anything strenuous, basically. I stayed back at the house and, you know, kept everything going at the house. <coughs> but, let's see. But we played card games in the evening and laughed like crazy. I was introduced to my son's new girlfriend. Um, new for me, girlfriend. Let's see. <clears throat> and she's a real peach. She's, she's just so much fun. She laughs and um, she kind of fits right in with the family. She's energetic. Oh my goodness, energetic. She's got my son doing things that he hasn't done in years or ever. Um, so that was fun. It was fun watching them. You know, I'm... You know... Something is bugging me, and I'm hoping maybe you can comment about it if you... I need a friend to listen to this and see, get your opinion from it. <coughs> I'm going to do a second coat on these other ones. Um, I had plans all my life to, <coughs> not all my life, but, you know, since I was married in the 80s, um, and I was in my 20s then, so you can tell I'm, this year I'm going to be 60. Anyway, um, I'm going to need a cup of water, paintbrush. So, <laughs> we built our own house, and it wasn't the, exactly the house we would have wanted to purchase. We had to compromise because of finances, which, you know, we all do. This was back in the 80s. My grandmother gave us a piece of property, and we built our house on it, and it's right next to my mom and dad's property and the 15 acres of woodland fields and woodland and stuff that's the house sits on and I loved raising my kids on the property near their grandparents like I did like I was raised and um, it means a lot to me to stay on the property called the family compound but no it's not like you know an LTS, an LDS um, compound. It's just, I just call it that because we have two houses on the same property and lots of family on it and I have a feeling it's going to continue to be in the family. Anyway, <clears throat> um, we had to compromise on the shape of the house and stuff like that and what we wanted. It's a you go in the steps and you go in the front door and there's a half set of steps up and a half set of steps down and it was kind of fun for a while but it it becomes a pain when my grandparents my grandmothers couldn't go up the steps anymore to the to the upper floor that was that was difficult for me um to realize and now I'm you know as I'm having difficulty walking for reasons we won't get into um, the, the half steps bother me even more so what I wanted to do and we have enough ground what I wanted to do was build out a front room and like when you come in the driveway, you come right up against the porch, and it's like, well, there's no porch, what am I saying? Okay, there's like a garage, right? The house is along this way, there's the garage, and the house comes out this way, like this. Okay. This part is the garage. Okay. 
and then there's steps up and down and a hallway with the bathroom and a closet and our bedroom is on this end and there's a bedroom here there's a laundry room bedroom here the kitchen is here and the living room is there so what I wanted to do <laughs> what I wanted to do was make a sunken living room here because you you come this would be the front door then okay and I wanted to put a little fireplace here you'd have to go up the steps to get to this level but you'd walk right in like there's a sidewalk here and I want to put a wraparound porch actually I have to get that wire right and to put a wrap wrap around porch all the way around the house at that time we had a deck on the back obviously this is not to scale <laughs> um, now we have a little roof cover over there so that would be the sunken living room this would be the porch and there'd be steps off this way and steps off this way and steps out this way so that no matter where you came in I mean this is the garage and we have cars lined up over here you know and then this would be instead of a garage this would be a playroom for the guys well the problem is hang on let me get a cup of water I'll let you look at that a little bit closer if you feel like it <laughs> I don't know it made any sense at all. Glass of water here. Some kind of good mineral water. Um, I'll use that. water over. Alright. <clears throat> anyway, I'll widen you up quite a bit now. So you can see the range of what I'm doing instead of the minutia. Okay. I'll save this for a different one because I'm sure. Well, while it's still wet, why don't I paint one of the flowery things, a yellow background. Um, when I want to reuse something, what I do is just cut the yucky end off of it and give it a bevel here. Like that. And, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this guy. Um, hmm, maybe this this one won't work, even though I cut it off. Nope, it won't, because it's got the stick in the middle. All right, forget that one. <laughs> hey, you know I'm Ms. Economy here, Ms. Economy Crafter. There's a new one. There. It's not going to be near enough, but whatever. And you got to remember, they don't have to be perfect because there's going to be diamonds over top of them. It's not going to be painted perfectly. Move that over there. Put a drop or two more of yellow on here. Smear that around. This is just a uh, folk art craft paint. It's a uh, water washable. It's craft smart. I'm sorry, craft smart. And the other one is apple barrel. 
by plaid. They're just the the ones you can the temper paints you can get at Michaels and Joann's and all those places. It's just a craft paint. Alright, I'm just gonna do this one side and I'm gonna let it dry over here somewhere. Alright, <clears throat> then in the water, wash it off a bit. I'm gonna have a feeling I'm gonna be doing that with a bunch of other little flowers here. Alright. Time for a slurp of tea. All right, now I'm going to do the orange, the orange, and this again, it, this is Artist Loft. This is um, a generic brand from, again, either Michaels or Joann's. I think it's Michaels. I used to go to Michaels exclusively. There used to be another one that I went to who, that just went out of business not too long ago. Anyway. I ask you about that because, yes, I know it's too much paint. I hear you. Um, I was talking about what I would love to do to the house. And I realized, I talked to my husband about it <clears throat> yesterday. And because we were talking about, you know, wanting to move my craft room home and, and, and everything, And he said, no, don't worry about that. We're six, we're, you know, we're in our 60s. I'm just going to be 60 in December. He's 61. Um, he said, don't worry about that. We're never going to do it. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, we're in our 60s. When are we going to do it? We, you know, that was, we're not in our 40s anymore. And guys, I have to tell you, I'm so disappointed by that. You know, I know we haven't been professional with our finances and stuff and we could have done a better job with saving and and doing things to afford what our dreams were i'm sure i'm not the only one here That thinks that way. But it was so disappointing to hear. You know, even if... Even if I'm in my 60s, it's still, I don't consider my life half over until I was 55. I'm not coming down the other side until I was 55. And so I have just about as much of my life to live yet as I've had before. And granted, I'd rather not have steps to go on, but that can be worked around, can it? Yeah, boo-boo. That can be worked around, can it? I don't know, chairlift or something. So, anyway, what do you think? Should I keep on dreaming for what I want? I have a lot of things to fix down at the house before I can move back in. I'm living with my mom yet right now. My husband and my daughter and son-in-law and grandkids are down at the other house. And why my husband and I aren't living together is a long story, so don't worry about that. But what I what I want what I mean is <clears throat> should I give up my dream of changing the house around to make it what I want? You know, I, I imagine coming in and you know they're Coming in and, and at Christmas and seeing Christmas tree in the big living room. Have a bow window to look out the front. Have somebody make some gardens at the front. And um, a fireplace for cool nights. I love the smell of wood. 
Oh, the smell of wood burning. Um, what else? Built-in bookcases, because I love to read. I have a gazillion things to read right now. And I, uh, I agree with Stitcherista. If you don't, if it doesn't catch you in the first couple pages, then life's too short to keep reading. <laughs> I have a lot more than fiction, though, to read. I like psychological stuff, you know, like self-help stuff. Right now, I'm. My favorite is Breen Brown, Brene, Brene, Brene Brown. She's so encouraging. On um, Tuesdays and Fridays, I have uh, what I call Tea and Talk Tuesdays and Fearless Fridays. And we're going over a book by Mira Patel on My Friend Fear, it's called chapter by chapter and we're gonna well hopefully we get to some discussions going on that because I think it's a it's a brilliant book it's so nicely done it just you know gives you a different kind of look at fear and its place in your life and how to use it <laughs> instead of let it use you letting your fear use you so hopefully you can join us for that. If you make it to the end of this video, I will tell you how to how you can sign up to win a contest. I am giving away tons of stuff and I'd love to start monthly <laughs> giveaways, but I need a, a certain number of subscribers first, but I'll tell you about that later. Okay. All right, now with the rest of the orange paint here, I have another Gucci Watsy. And so I'll put some water on it. Start smearing it. Ooh. Okay. That is a bright orange, guys. I guess I'll do a mandala on that, because orange is a lucky color, a blessed color in some traditions. I think orange is courage. Orange is courage. You know, I like the way, you know, colors and their meanings, not just their meanings, but how they make you feel. I think it's awesome that there's still some color left on that, so when I put it aside, I will do so carefully. Okay. Put that over here. Ta -da. So red would be in the middle there. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red will be in the inner, inner. In here. Scourge. Okay. So what do colors make you feel? What colors make you feel in what ways? What's your favorite color? You know, green, you know, represents the outdoors and growth. Um, orange can be power and courage. Red can be passion. Blue can be calm and serene. Purple can be royalty and majesty. That's also a passionate color. Anyway, there's a whole lot of meanings behind um, behind colors, and I'm sure they're all over the internet. You can find lots of information on that. That's how I like to do these. So.
so. I don't know. I, I was just so disappointed. I thought, am I, am I too old to have another dream like that? I guess I'm getting back to my, uh, my house plans. I keep looking at them thinking, I don't want to give up on my dream yet. Yeah, I don't have the money, and yeah, lots and lots of things have to be fixed at the house before any of that gets done. We need a kitchen refaced. We need bathrooms remodeled. <coughs> we need new carpets, new paint. Tile or hardwood put in instead of carpet in some places. We need lots and lots of work done on the house before we do an addition yet. But I still want to hold out. I want to hold out. Hold out on my dream. I have to. I have to, have to, have to. I guess I can uh, make the, the girl's hair green. I mean red. I'm gonna do. Well, this is drying just a little bit to get to the next color. I'm gonna spread my mermaids out here and do the hair on the mermaids, the bright red, while I have the bright red here. Okie dokie. Let me get the orange out of it. A spongy brush. Okay. Oh, gee. All right, now I guess I have to figure out where the face is going to be. Either that I just stay right away from it. For now. I'm going to do that. You can always fill it in later. Yeah, I shouldn't have gotten mermaids because I don't do faces. Any of you do faces real well? So what did you do for Memorial Weekend? Did you go anywhere? Does your family have a spot that it goes to every weekend? I mean every Memorial Weekend? Or Labor Day Weekend? We used to, in my family, we had a cabin up in the mountains. Up in the in the mountains and um, it was a family cabin and <laughs> I told you about Pirate Rock already in another chat time but we used to love to go I mean we go during the summer when it was blueberry picking season and obviously you pick blueberries um, what else would we do We'd walk a lot. They had a little lake, a man-made lake there with a lot of boating, sports, and things like that. And um, so we didn't do boating too much. My daughter and her husband kayak. And before the kids were born, I guess, yeah, before the kids were born, I had taken them up there and... <laughs> they had their kayak in the water and you know it's really interesting <laughs> seeing um, newlyweds work together to get the boat going <laughs> yeah I know I need to join in on the fun more myself and not just watch from the sidelines but I was perfectly content to sit there on the the beach side and Oh, forgive these stupid trucks that go by. Um, perfectly content to sit along the sidelines and watch them have fun. And, I don't know, do some sketching in a sketchbook or write in my journal. How many of you have a journal? Do you write in it every day, like a diary? Or, or do you... Um, 
just right when you have something significant to put down. Okay, I'm going to keep the rest of the red for the next time. And I'll move, trade these places again with the rainbow. What I did was on the other side of the rainbows, I just left it blue. <laughs> I wasn't going to do the same colors on the other side. I still can if I want to, but... Okay, the next color is green. Again, I'm just squeezing it out of the container. This is called New Shamrock. In the plaid, no, it's apple barrel paint. Get this washed off, right? Okay. My water's doing funny things. Oh, beans, right through the yellow. I'll fix it. <coughs> I shall fix it. I'm glad you're here with me to do this today. Yeah, I live on a busy street, as you can tell. If you listen to the background, I'm hoping that as we chat, you won't hear the background much. Do you, do you guys have any <clears throat> problems with getting deliveries to your house? This week, I um, had a delivery come from UPS. Now, we have a post office box, okay? Instead of... So we, so we have our address at a post office. <clears throat> we do have a street address, but for some reason, the delivery companies can't find the street address. They want, it, they want to find... If I use a box number, they can find the post office. Or if I use its address, they can find the post office. If I use my real address, my street address, in the town that I'm in, they can't find it. And they say they can't deliver to a post office. Okay. Sometimes UPS does, delivers it to a post office. They put it in a secured container in the back, and then the next day they put it in, you know, the person's mail slot. And that's perfectly fine with me. <coughs> we have a phone number that is one town's exchange. We live in a different town. We go to a different school district and our post office is in a different town. So if we want our, our mail delivered we have to go through this other town. Now my house my husband and my house get it delivered to the house and so we go through that other post office where I'm living with my mom just up the yard mind you I need to put the t name of the town that it's really that we're really in the post office town okay so I do that but that's when packages don't get delivered if I have them sent to the to the ad, the delivery address, they say there is no such address. We don't deliver there. Then to the post office, they lose it. I mean, the UPS, FedEx is the worst. Oh my gosh, FedEx delivered my stuff to at least three times to a gal in a different town that started with the same letter that mine does, but also has a post office as well as a street address. So she found me on Facebook and she said, by any chance, are these yours? And I said, yes, I've been looking for them. Okay. So this happened three times. Every time 
I get a delivery from one of these companies. They say, oh, you know, we've got, we delivered it to you, and here's the proof of delivery. And it's either not my house, or it's around the back of my house, or it's to, you know, the neighbors. Oh, it was delivered to a neighbor one time. Maybe twice, actually. They knew me, so they called me and said, hey, come get your package. It's really frustrating. If they don't deliver to the mailbox or the post office, then I don't get it right. Which is a good reason not to order anything more, huh? But Amazon has no trouble finding my house at all, ever. What's the deal, guys? What is the dealio? Can somebody explain that to me? So anyway, I'd rather things go UPS than FedEx because they deliver more consistently. And they do deliver to the post office. How's that looking? How are they looking so far? Hmm? Not too bad. Not too shabby. And what am I going to do with this green? Oh, I know. These I can make the stem green, right? I need a place to put them. I'm done. Yeah. Stay. I don't like to waste anything. I was taught waste not want not, right? I'm gonna go very carefully around the bottom of the heart. I could paint the whole post this way. I like that there's a little bevel edge on the end of these. You kind of get corners. Okay. Anyway. I've introduced you to my daughter and my granddaughter and my mom even, voice-wise, on this channel. My husband is 61. And like I said, I'll be 60 in January. February. Oh, jeez. His birthday is in January. Mine is in December. Do you think that's too, too old now to go for any of your dreams? I don't know. I want to go on more cruises. That was such an awesome time going on a cruise. A couple of years ago, went to the Mediterranean with a friend of mine. One of the maiden voyages of uh, um, Symphony of the Seas at that time, at this time maybe still, the largest uh, cruise ship ever made. And you know what? <laughs> that's not grand if you realize that you have to walk the entire length of the ship to get to the dining room area yeah we had to do that <laughs> that was frustrating and I wasn't in shape to begin with but and then to do the tours I didn't go on any um, you know handicap type tours even though even though I am overweight and have mobility issues um, for various reasons, I didn't at the time. So we went on the regular tours, which took a lot out of me each day. Uh, but anyway, so we had to walk. You know, I feel like I used up all my calories walking to the dining room twice a day. We got our breakfast in uh, in the cabin every morning, delivered, and that was awesome, just to wake up and have breakfast while you're getting dressed, and oh, that was wonderful. We could do that once a day on our package. So, and this was before COVID hit. This was 2018. What a blessing to get that done before COVID. 
Anyway, now that most of us are vaccinated in the United States, or at least have one vaccine already, things are opening up now. Maskless, and if you've had the vaccine, the problem is trying to, to um, prove it, who you have to prove it to. Well, nuts. Now I got more green, and I don't know what to do with the rest of the green. Um, I'm running out of area here. Oh, there's another two stems I could do. They got butterflies on them, so I can do the green here on these stems. Again, I don't like to lose. Oh, my grandkids are home from school. The bus is coming. Bus just stopped at a neighbor's house. So that's cool. Yeah. I'm hoping these things will sell at yard sales. Have you done, uh, not yard sale, but flea markets? Have you done flea markets with any of your crafts? How have they turned out? What are your best sellers? Um, I know it's hard these days. Flea markets are just starting up again. And, um, It's really hard to make a living from the craft world, that's for sure. <coughs> well, you really never could. You couldn't get your, your uh, the value of your labor out of it, but unless you became super famous, which obviously is not the case here. So. I just enjoy doing it. I really enjoy doing these things. I like seeing nothing be created into something. I like a pile of random stuff put together into something usable and pretty. I like that. Yipper. Why do you like doing crafts if you do? Why do you like doing crafts? What crafts do you do? Have you ever done a flea market, a craft show, flea market type thing, where you sold your crafts? Or do you do them mostly for family and gifts? Have you ever tried selling on Etsy? I have an Etsy store. It's also called Wanda's Work Basket, where you will see some of these things put up. I have a scrapbooking kits, journal kits and stuff up there for sale right now. I will soon have my magnets, cover, you know, refrigerator magnet, cover minder, needle minder, whatever you want to call them. The only difference between the minders and the magnet is that it comes, the magnets are just one magnet that sticks to your fridge, where the cover minder, needle minders have a second magnet because you put that on the opposite side of the fabric the canvas so that it holds back the edges of um, the plastic or whatever you have on top of it and where it holds the needle in place okay or it just pretties up your work area I like that too blue blue is next I've got a really dark blue I'm hoping this is okay it's called bright blue, so I am not mixing any uh, white in with it like I did for the other side. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I know. I really need some paper towels because I didn't think this through quite yet. Well, <clears throat> we might get to the sanding on the next Crafty Thursday because I don't think we're going to get to the sanding today. Uh, I have a work in progress to do for the Fearless Friday. Which actually I'll be doing next right after this, so I don't miss my schedule. 
I don't want to not have something up ready for you guys to listen to. I hope you're working along with me, either in your crafts or your diamond painting or your planner. That's something I'm with along with fear that I want to talk about. I'm redoing my planner, my Franken planner, so to speak. And I, I really like what it is now, but I'm not using it like I used to. Probably because I don't have as much on my calendar as I used to. Not quite as important as it was before. So anyway, um, yeah, I have a new way I want to do that. With the help of a friend keeping me accountable. Well, in a way. So the next time we'll talk about that. I'll talk about that on Fearless Friday. Or maybe Sunday. I do planner Sunday. I'm not sure. Keep a lookout for it. I'll make I'll make up some freebies so that you can use the idea as well. <laughs> It's two, three, four. Sorry, I'm in a sing-song mood today. Hope you can tolerate it. I want to see my grandbabies tomorrow. I haven't seen them for a week. They live right next door, and I don't see them for a week. Well, their school's almost over, so I'll see them more often than that. I think I'm done substitute teaching for the year. Just because I'm finding it hard with, you know, physical therapy and <laughs> and other things. Uh, and weight being an issue as well. I can't deny that I am obese. And hopefully you will be going on a journey with me to help me rectify my health. To keep me, help me be accountable and encouraged along the way, because I know I'm not the only one that has this difficulty. <laughs> And I also need some encouragement in getting rid of some stuff. I'd love to get rid of it to somebody who needs it. One time I donated a whole closet with her with her kids' craft stuff to um, a women's shelter right before they had a huge snowstorm and they said oh this will keep the kids <laughs> this will keep the kids occupied since they will have off from school for a couple of days so I gladly donate my things if they're needed to whomever has needed it I'd like to have some contests with you guys red, orange, yellow, green, blue and there's one other color we're seeing I don't know what I do blue for at the moment. Should I do the tops of the butterflies? Antennae? I could do that. I can make the butterfly antennae blue. How about that? Oh, that'll soak it in. I probably go like this. <laughs> All right. 
How many of you have too much stuff to get rid of? How many of you have stuff for crafts that you love to do but just haven't finished? What projects are you doing that you need to finish? Can we encourage each other to, to do them? Can we, I don't know, switch projects and mail them to each other? Somebody else can finish them if you don't want them anymore. Where are you going to donate them somewhere? Where are you going to donate them to? Why is that institution dear to your heart? I would love to get a talk going about that. <laughs> I like to work with women's shelters where women and kids are fleeing from domestic violence situations. I like to donate to like the YMCA, YWCA, and their programs with kids. I like to donate to um, I'd like to donate time <clears throat> to a victim services center uh, for the hotline, and I have to get back to doing that. I have plenty of time now. I can do that again. No need to worry about that. I'd like to donate my time to that. Um, what else? I like to do that crafts with my kids, my grandkids. My son and his girlfriend are helping my mom around the garden and outside. I'll have to take you on a garden walk through my mom's garden sometime. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This time of year, it is perfect. It's May. Well, no, it's June too. It's June the 2nd today. I'll be June 3rd when you see this. So, here we go. You gonna stick with me till I do the purple? Hope so. Because then I can tell you about the contest. I want there to be lots of winners in the days ahead. So I have so much to share, so much to give away. I wanted to go to a good place, and I know that fellow crafters are the ones who will use it. I want to get my craft room back up in shape. So I'm not working on my grandmother's dining room table. So I can do the things that I enjoy, and enjoy doing them without feeling worried that I'm not getting other stuff done that I should. Ooh, that water is brown. All right, the last one is purple. Yeah, let me get the blue out of the brush here. Yeah. I can let this dry. <coughs> and then after that, in the some days ahead, Maybe tea talk Tuesday. I don't know. Um, we'll get to the sanding and the gluing. Yep, that's a new, brand new purple. Where did I put? Ah, here it is. Gosh, man, alive. Mix it up a little bit. I'm getting it all over my fingers. So I have to wash my hands soon. Like I said, I don't really have to worry about being perfect because I'm hoping the diamonds, and I haven't measured them against this, I'm hoping that the diamonds will be able to cover any mistakes that I'm doing. But I'll, I'll redo that yellow because it just seems to be swallowed up there. And it seems to be marred. They don't all have a perfect edge to work on. I love purple. 
Not that it's a royal color, but this it's so beautiful. It's a very passionate color. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? That's just the beginning. The beginning. Oh, I got more than one smeared. Okay. Yeah, for diamond painting, I'm coming up with... I like the way that... Um, four kids at 149... Is that the number? 149, I think? 147? Oh... Put it down below. I like the way she did her um, boxes and how she made her extra drills look perfect. Um, <clears throat> I do want to go to that that extent, but I really don't want to pay that as much for them, the boxes and the whole setup. So I ordered something from a supply house, from a uh, <laughs> mailing supply house and I'm creating my own. They're just plain boxes right now. And I want to do something on the edge of the boxes. Maybe use all my oh, scrapbook paper that I have. Maybe I'll glue that down. Spray glue and and zip down some pretty paper on the edges that match my craft room. And um, I'd like to do that. You saw my bling in a, in a previous video. So. So there's that. Oh, I like it so far. I have to puff up the white. I think it might even puff it up with some cotton balls. What do you think? Yeah, I might do that. We'll see after we get the bling on if it wants cotton balls or not. So as I'm doing this, the end of this purple and about to sign off, I want to let you know about the contest. And I'm sure you heard about it <clears throat> in my other videos. As soon as we reach 100 members, 100 subscribed members, you don't have to join, you know, you don't have to join the thing or send any money or nothing like that. Just click like and subscribe. And when we reach those members, I will let you know on which video I want you to comment on. And if you comment on that video, I will use a random number generator and pick somebody. It will pick somebody for me to send a prize to. So, I have uh, diamond painting kits to, that to give out. I think one is a journal, one or two are a journal. I have tools and um, <coughs> boxes, like um, sorting boxes. I have a Jim's, um, Jim's handmade pen, diamond, point, diamond painting pen. I have, oh, what else? Oh, I have a Full Dreamer design kit for when we reach 500. Oh, I've got lots of goodies, lots of goodies, lots of goodies, tools and, and supplies and all kinds of things that uh, I can send. And I, I hope after we get to 500 subscribers that we can st I can start having monthly giveaways, just, just random, random giveaways. So... I'm looking forward to that. Um, I think part of the butterfly should be purple too. What do you think? I've got to clean up the reds, clean up the yellows. <laughs> yeah. But again, it'll be underneath the bling. So, <clears throat> I hope you like and subscribe, and um, I hope to see you soon to see you again. I want to see your crafts. Um, how do you, do you do anything for flea market craft shows? Uh, what's your best seller if you do? 
Do you sell on Etsy? What's your favorite craft at the moment? Um, what else? What else? What else? I forgot what else I asked, but we'll get a conversation going. Okay? See you in the comments. Bye. Thank you.